it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the distort flicker transition in Afterbirth. I hope you guys liked the preview of this transition here, I thought it was you know, a little bit unique and uh, I wanted to show you guys how to make it. And if you guys don't know, I've recently updated my TV glitch pack to the CRT presets instead. So I'm basically updating all the TV glitch packs now to CRT instead, just so it becomes more clear on what the pack actually includes. CRT presets. So if you guys are interested in the CRT aesthetic, CRT presets, don't forget to check this pack out and I'm actually going to give you guys a discount code. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5 and that includes on all CRT presets. But now let's get into the tutorial here. So now I'm going to be opening up After Effects and in here I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing this transition on. And once you have your footage in, you're going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And I'm going to make this adjustment layer one second in length. And the frames depends on what frame rate you're using. I'm using 24, so it's going to be 24 frames long. So now I've cut my adjustment layer and it is one second long. And I'm going to make a marker here just to know where this transition point is. After that, I'm going to be adding our first effect and I'm going to be using the Sapphire plugin for this transition here. So I'm going to be adding Sapphire Distort. And this is the type of effect we're getting here uh, by adding that. And what I'm going to be doing here is basically keyframe the amount. So I'm going to set it at 1 at the transition point after that. Set it to 0 at the beginning and at the end of the uh, adjustment layer. After that, open the adjustment layer, go to effects, distort. And here I'm going to be using the express function here. So you guys are going to be holding alt and then press the clock here again. And here we're going to be typing wiggle. Get this one here. And in here we're going to be typing 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 just like that so now it's going to be wiggling and flickering basically a little bit and once that is done you guys can close down the distort settings here and the next effect we're going to be adding is called deep glow and for the deep glow i'm going to increase the radius to 500 you get this nice glow here i'm going to keep the rest of the settings at the default and after that to make it flicker we're going to be adding a sapphire flicker to this and at the transition point i'm going to set it to two so it's going to be a very strong flicker at the transition point basically after that you're going to be keyframing the amplitude so keyframe it at the transition point at two go to the beginning set it to zero go to the ending set it to zero as well just like that after that open up the flicker effect amplitude here mark the keyframes press f9 mark the keyframe here make a sharp graph nothing special just a little sharp graph just like that works perfect after that we're going to be keyframing the opacity and as i told you guys before i updated and rebranded the tv glitch series to the crt presets instead so i'm going to be showcasing one of the presets from that pack so if you guys make the adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here you just go to use user presets open up here is the crt pack and if you guys go to maybe bonus here i have some extra uh yeah presets here you guys can drop it to the adjustment layer and it's going to make this look here so this crt effect is called matrix crt i think this looks a little bit like matrix with this green kind of touch to the crt effect i think it looks amazing and that's just one of the effects from that pack. You guys can add Sapphire CRT effect here. And this is how the Sapphire CRT looks. Absolutely amazing. If you guys like this CRT aesthetic, this pack series and this pack is perfect to really get a grip of this whole CRT aesthetic. The last thing we're going to be doing for the distort transition here is basically open up the adjustment layer, go to transform and here we're going to be keyframing the opacity so i'm gonna set that 100 at the transition point zero at the beginning and the end mark the keyframes press f9 stuff like this here and this is how the transition looks really cool unique transition you can use for your music videos and edits i think it's yeah really cool and unique and if you guys want to save this now as a preset you guys can go out of this graph now go to the effects and also open up all the keyframes mark all of the keyframes here just like that after that go to animation 
save animation preset, name the preset, press save, and you guys will have your preset saved. So you guys can use it for another time. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like the transition, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have a pretty cool editing packs, I would say, like the CRT pack I showed you guys before. And also don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.